Hello everyone and welcome to or back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Scotland and I thank you so much for clicking on this video. As you can tell by today's title, we're doing the end of the year book tag. Now I know I'm actually a couple of months late to this because typically this tag is done in October, but now that it's December, we have a couple weeks left in the year, I figured we can go ahead and combine this with both my December TBR and the book tag because it's kind of essentially the same thing. If you've been following along for a while, you'll know that I did actually already complete my Goodreads reading goal a couple weeks ago. So right now, we're truly just reading for fun at this point because I have completed the goal and I really don't have anything else that I need to read in order to finish my goal. But there are some books that... I've been lingering on all year and just really want to get through before the year is over. So I figured this would be a great way for us to sit down, catch up, and see what I have planned for the rest of the year. The first question I believe is what are some books that I started this year that need to be finished? I have a lot of books that I've started this year naturally just because I'm a mood reader. So a lot of times I pick up books and I read a couple of pages or read a couple of chapters I'm not feeling it at the time so I put it back down and I pick up something different so that is a very long question and a very long answer or I guess it's a long answer to a short question but to keep my answer short we're going to do two books I'm going to pull from my physical TBR because they've been on here for a very long time so the first book that I started earlier this year that I would like to finish is Happy Hour by Marlo Granados and I did start this I think probably back in January February and I was enjoying it but it's a very slow book with a no plot and it's all character development and as you can tell I got a pretty good ways of the way through the book I don't know if it'll focus anyhow I did get a pretty good ways into the book I think I'm about three one third I'm honestly about halfway through this book and I just put it down. I wasn't in the mood to read a slow character driven story at the time, but I was enjoying it. I enjoyed the characters. I enjoyed what they were going through. And if you don't know much about this book, it's basically about two best friends who are living in New York and they're very like borderline poor and are sharing a bedroom, sharing a bed. And it's just basically how they get up to being in New York throughout the, sum throughout the summer. And like I said, truly no plot just vibes <laughs> and I did like it but like I said I just wasn't in the right mind space to continue reading it so I put it down I don't know necessarily if this will get finished by the end of the year I just can't guarantee you that because there are so many books in front of this that I want to finish but it would be nice to have it done by like at least mid-January I feel like because then it would have been a whole year since I've like picked up the book the second book I want to finish reading now I had posed this question on my community page like way early in the year about whether or not I should get this book and it was very split between 50-50 and at the very last minute everyone was like no don't get it but I had already ordered it <laughs> so I really should have listened to the people I asked whether or not to get it because I was having a hard time getting through this yeah I need to finish Magnolia Parks and I do have the original cover, which makes it even sadder that I didn't like finish reading it while I was reading it, I think probably back in March, because now this cover is no longer and I can't find any of the original covers at a decent price. Like I know they're being resold right now for like $90 and I'm just not doing it. So I do want to finish Magnolia Parks. I really do. I was enjoying it. I also was tabbing it some... Um, and I enjoyed it for what it was, if that makes sense. I, it's not like some groundbreaking, new, world-shifting romance. I don't know. I wouldn't really call it a romance from what I was reading, but it's not groundbreaking in that sense of the word, but it was really, really fun just to read. It's not like a filthy read. It's just so gossipy, so messy. And just honestly very toxic and if you're looking for a book that's just kind of like a palate cleanser that's just you can't look away from but because it's such a train wreck I would say this is a good book to choose but let it be known I have started this book and I was enjoying it but once again I think this year I really got in I'm holding it up the books you like barely can't even see them so I'm gonna go ahead and put them down but 
this year I really got into fantasy and so every time I try to pick up any contemporary romance literary fiction book I was like a fantasy I need a plot <laughs> so this year was Jerry Jerry this year was very plot driven in a lot of the books that I was reading and we'll get more into like what I think about that later on in the video but I did enjoy Magnolia Parks I just haven't finished it Will I finish it by the end of the year? I don't know. I think I'm also probably about halfway through this. Yeah, I'm also halfway through this book. So I'm at page 200 right now, exactly. So I wanna finish it. I think I'm going to, I only have about 200 more pages to go. So if I feel like I wanna pick this back up by the end of the year, this is definitely one that I'll gravitate to. But like I said, I have a lot of books that I started this year that I would like to finish, but these two are truly like the two that I'm focusing on to hopefully have done by the end of the year. The next question is, is are there any autumnal books that I would like to transition into the end of the year to finish reading? Which, yes, I don't have a physical copy of it. It is If We Were Villains. I would like to finish If We Were Villains. I think I started probably the first two or three chapters on my kindle and i just once again was like i need a plot i need fantasy and i switched over to a fantasy book but i was really enjoying it and as a shakespeare lover myself i did like have my whole phase of him in high school and early college years a lot of times dark academia books i can get away with justifying them also being like a winter thing because winter is so moody and angsty that it matches like the fall vibes but I feel like actually Dark Academia matches winter way more than fall so I think that's a really good book to transition from like my fall TBR into like my winter TBR so I, I have quite a bit left in that book to finish reading but that is for this specific question what I would bring over <laughs> into the winter TBR. The next question is, what is a new release that you're still looking forward to? And if you are any fan of mine and this channel, a friend of mine even, you know I'm obsessed with Heartstopper. It literally stole my heart from like the first time I watched it, maybe like two years ago when it came out. And I've just been so in love with the entire world that I'm looking forward to volume five that's coming out, I believe at the end of next week. No, I think it comes out the seventh in the UK and the 19th in the US. So I'm very, very excited to finally get to get that last, I think it was planned to be the last book, but then she decided to add a sixth one. So I think that's what's happening. So I don't think this is the last one in the series, but I am very, very, very excited to get volume five. That's honestly the only book that's left in the year that I'm looking forward to. And it's such a treat that's coming out in December. So yes, Heartstopper volume five we'll be here me and you we're gonna be here reading that one together i'm pretty sure the second to last question is what are three books that i want to have read by the end of the year and this is more of where our december tbr comes into like i said i don't really have a goal to reach anymore because i have already completed it but there are quite a few books once again that i'm currently reading all at the same time that i would like to finish by the end of the year and a good portion of them are actually physical books that I have. Now, are they physical books I just bought? Yes, all of them are. I, and none of them that are on the books that I'm about to say are books that I've had on my TBR the entire year. Not one, not one of them are. <laughs> so, um, we'll get into that later, but these are all books that I'm pretty sure I've already spoken about in past videos, I think but or maybe not i don't know but first off i want to go ahead and finish reading glass sword glass sword is the sequel or the second in the series of the red queen by victoria aviard i was reading the first book in i think my 24 hour readathon that i posted maybe about a week or two ago not a week ago definitely probably two weeks ago <laughs> um but red queen i was on the fence about while i was reading it if i actually enjoyed it but towards the end of it when the plot twist hit i was like yeah this book gave this book gave and i need the second one immediately so i am currently in the middle of this one i don't want to say what's going on in it because if you do want to read red queen 
I don't want to spoil because it is the second book in the series. And also, if you want to read Red Queen or know my thoughts about it, you can go ahead and watch my 24 hour readathon to know how I felt about that. But needless to say, obviously, I like the series enough to continue reading it. So that is what I'm currently reading right now. I'm on chapter, I actually don't know because I am reading this both on my Kindle and in physical form. So my book is saying I'm on page 90, but I think I'm further than that on my Kindle. So just know I'm still in the early stages of the second book right now. The next book that I also want to read that I also talked about in my 24 hour readathon that I'm also in the middle of right now is The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass. Honestly, what needs to be said about this book? I feel like I really don't need to promote it anymore because we all are very aware of this woman's entire universe, but I am in the middle of reading The Assassin's Blade. Um, this is technically the prequel to Throne of Glass series, but it came out chronologically. It was chronologically published after Air, no, Crown of Midnight, which is the second book in the series. So it's really up to you and how you want your reading journey to be in the series, whether or not to read this first or Throne of Glass. I'm not really one to like tell you how to do it because I haven't finished the series yet but I think it's an interesting way to read it when you read it not as the prequel and as the third book in the series and not as the first book in the series but once again totally up to you there are so many youtubers book talkers who talk about this series who can give you more opinions on how you should read it but my opinion is that I don't have one <laughs> so that's where I am right now I'm enjoying it and I, I, I'm like, kind of there. Like I'm in, I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like enjoying the series, don't worry. I'm just not head over here, head over hills in love with it quite yet. But I've talked to multiple people, especially people while I'm at the store who have seen me looking at the books. A lot of times they're like, hey, I'm with you girl, just push through the first two to three books and then you'll finally be like in it. I'm hoping that once I finish this book and finally pick up Air of Fire that I will finally understand the hype that's behind the series, but we're keeping Cope alive. I'm sure it'll come. I'm just not quite there yet, but I am really looking forward to finishing this book. I'm not looking forward to it. I'm going to finish this book by the end of the year. I already know that because I need to know what happens. So that's where we are with this one. <laughs> I kind of feel bad because I feel like a lot of times I talk about the same books over and over again, but like this is just where I am right now. I, I'm i kind of like cycling through the same books currently, but <laughs> it's okay. The last book that I know I'm going to finish by the end of the year is in fact, yep, Iron Flame. I have to finish reading it. I probably read like... Mm, the first three pages in this book on my kindle and then i was like no i actually kind of want the physical copy so i went and got the physical copy and then after i got the physical copy i started to get a lot of the mixed reviews on tiktok about how people really didn't like this one but i have to say i had truly no expectations for fourth queen none i i didn't think it was going to be i it took me a very long time to actually read that book because i thought it was going to be silly and then then when it proved me right in being a silly book, but also being a fun silly book, I was like, oh, okay. And let me go ahead and read the second one. And so now that people are like, oh, the second one's not that great. And I'm like, well, I didn't think the first one was going to be great. I don't really think the second one's going to be great, but I think it's going to be fun. And that's what matters. <laughs> so I am looking forward to reading this one. I'll probably pick it up within the next week. I'm kind of tossing between doing a specific Iron Flame reading vlog or including it in my weekly reading vlog that I'm filming this week. So I'll leave the question out to you guys on my community page and uh, you will you would have let me know how to read it. So let me know. Or I guess it'll be too late now to let me know, but you'll see the results of what you've told me. So yes, I'm reading Iron Flame by the end of the year. I think that was three books. So yeah, that's three books, but I also have technically one more book that I'm in the middle of reading that I know I'm going to really love, well, let me not be dramatic. <laughs> let me not lie to your face. There is one more book that I'm reading right now that I'm enjoying because I'm in the mood to read something like it and then I'm going to finish it because of all of the previously stated things. 
<laughs> and that is on my Kindle. I'm currently reading a hockey romance called Weak Side, I believe. I don't I don't remember who it's written by, but literally last night I was in bed and I got like a TikTok of one of the Dallas Stars hockey players and I was like, mm. I think I'm about to go back into my hockey romance era because if you don't know during the summer I was in a big hockey romance era I like read so I think I read the first three books in the L. Kennedy the Dill series and like probably three weeks which is like a lot to say for me but yes I was reading that series and I loved it and then I got the TikTok last night and I was like man yeah I'm really in the mood for another hockey romance and I'm enjoying that one right now if you don't know what it's about, it's basically about a girl who's trying to move into her dorm, finds out that she's actually living on the male floor because of a switch up with her name. And not only is she living on the male floor, she's living, her new roommate is like the college, the college's, I don't know, big shot hockey star player. And they're rooming together and basically how they go from like enemies to friends who I'm very sure lovers. So... It was just what I was in the mood for. I was in the mood for a hockey romance that was quick. Quick, honestly. <laughs> so yeah, that is what I'm currently in the mood for. Sorry if the description of that is... I was struggling, y'all. I really was. I'm very bad at giving the descriptions of books, so... That's just always is gonna how it is. That's just... That's just how it's going to always be. <laughs> the last question is, is if I've set my 2024 reading goals yet. And honestly, I don't want to. I think going into the new year 2024, I really want to make sure that I'm going back to like the roots of why I started reading. And it was to inform my writing. And I just haven't written. I haven't written. Okay, I've really gotten carried away with the reading thing. And it's really starting to stress me out, like I've said so many times before, how many books I have on my physical TBR at this point. So I really want to do two things. I want to start worrying, I want to stop worrying about the quantity of books I'm reading and at the speed of books I'm reading. Like I don't want to worry about how fast I'm getting through a book and how many books I'm reading anymore. So I don't really think I'm going to set an actual number of books I want to finish next year. But I do want to focus more on the quality of books and reading more literary fiction and more literary criticisms more that can actually help me inform more of my writing. I don't want to worry about building my library anymore, but I would rather focus on like the quality of books I'm reading and like reading more challenging and difficult books that can actually change my world view a bit more. Of course, I'm gonna continue reading my fantasy books. Of course, I'm gonna continue reading like the romance whenever I need something light and heavy, but I do wanna challenge myself to read things that are a bit more engaging and a bit more likely to, like I said, expand my knowledge. And that is what I'm really hoping for and not really hoping for a goal number, if that makes sense. So honestly, no knock to you if you're able to read a whole bunch like that. I just simply am too slow of a reader to try to keep up with all of it. And I don't want to feel like I'm falling behind keeping up with literal strangers. <laughs> so I don't want to do that anymore. I'm just going to read at my own speed and enjoy the books that I have and really honestly go on a book buying ban because at this point I have a lot of books that I don't even need to go buy a new book. I could just pick a book on my bookshelf and even it's even worse because I have a Kindle and I have the access to the Libby app so even if I don't want to read something that's on my shelves I can go to my Kindle and find something on there. So really trying to not buy any more books for the foreseeable future until I finish the books that I have on my shelves already. So yes, that is basically my December TBR and my end of year wrap up. Not really wrap up, but my end of year tag. And then also a little inside of my 2024 reading goals, which is basically none. And I'm like, it's basically I have no goals. I'm just going to see where the year takes me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, let me know down in the comments. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Or actually... Let me know in the comments what are the three books that you hope to have finished by the end of the year. I would really love to know it. Not because I want to go read them, but I'm nosy and I just want to know. <laughs> so I want to know if we're actually reading, like, reading the same things. That would actually be really fun if we're reading the same thing and we could like, chat about it. So 
just let me know i'm here for it i love reading the comments so yeah if you've made it this far in the video girl thank you <laughs> thank you um i'll see you in the next one